Hi, I'm Dave Cross. I want to share with you a lighting setup that I like to use using my Westcott strobe lights. I like to call this lighting for Photoshop. And by that I mean I want to do two things. I'm going to use a lighting setup that's going to give me a really cool effect, but it's also going to make my life a whole lot easier because the whole purpose of this shoot is to extract someone off the background. Now, I'm a one-man show today, so I'm going to have to kind of wander around and show you some things. If you look behind me here, you can see I have my stand-in Emma. She's our uh, full-time model here at Studio 3. And, and i got to tell you, people laugh about Emma and, and think she's a little creepy, but it's the best idea when you want to get your lighting set up before your subject actually arrives. She just stands there very quietly, get all my lighting set up, and it's good to go. Now, I've been very lucky in the last couple of months to have two very distinguished instructors here at my workshop center, Joel Grimes and Scott Kelby. And they both used a setup, a lighting setup, that I looked at and said, gee, that, that makes me feel pretty good because I was already kind of experimenting with a similar setup and they just kind of helped me tweak the results. So this setup uses three lights. I'm using the strobe light kit. And all I've done is I've added two grids. I'm going to show you throughout the process what I mean by that. So, for the rest of this, you'll just hear my voiceover as I describe what's going on. So let's take a look. So here you can see the basic setup. I'm using the kit, the three light kit, two lights on stands, and the third light is on a boom stand. So that's really the only thing I've added to the kit is this boom stand. And you can see the stand there. And the two lights are pointing kind of diagonally at the model. Now the boom light has barn doors and a grid to really focus the lights. The other thing I'll be using throughout the shoot is the On One DSLR remote. This allows me to control my camera, check the quality, make sure everything looks good, and most importantly for me, when I'm a one-man show, change camera settings. You'll see me using that throughout the shoot to take test shots. Here's our model, Darren, and I'm using the same setup I had for our test model, Emma, taking a test shot. It looks like this. This is it right out of the camera. It uh, looks pretty good, but I really want to test just the backlights. So a simple way to do that is to turn off the main light and then take another shot using just the backlights. So here I'm explaining to Darren and using the On One iPad app to take a shot. You can see here the results. Now it looks pretty good but I want it to be even more focused and this is the part that adds on. I'm adding a 60 degree grid that just snaps right in to the light as you'll see here. Snap it right in and this is going to really really focus the light. So here we're taking another test shot and you'll be able to see the difference of what a dramatic difference this makes. See how it gets a, just a beautiful light right around the outside. So now I know that those lights are set up the way I want. Go back and turn on the main light and start taking some shots. Notice how the background is gray because I don't have any lights on the background. Oh, and one of the things about being a one-man show, yes, you have to be the makeup artist as well to add more artificial sweat to your model. So here, we're changing things up a bit. Just a different pose, holding the ball slightly differently. Same lighting though, so it's just a different look with the same lighting. I also want to try uh, some more dramatic looks and that's one of the beauty of this lighting setup is you can try other things very easily. Here I'm just turning off the two backlights so the only light I'm going to be having on here is the main light with the barn doors. Look at the, that kind of beautiful spotlight effect you get because of the grid. So with that experiment in mind now we're just going to try changing up it only one light from the side. See, I'm just changing the position slightly and lowering it. I've never tried this particular setup before but I just thought it might be interesting to try and I had previously told Darren I'd like to pose with a ball a certain way that I thought might lend itself to this. Pretty interesting. So after we've done our lighting here's what we end up with. We take a stock photo and add the person we've extracted pretty easily in Photoshop. Now just to show you it doesn't only work with sports, here's another shot of Darren and then put on a different background. So as you can see it's a pretty straightforward lighting setup that gives you a great way to separate the person from the background. 
Now to see the second part of how I extract Aaron off the background, put him on new background, go to DaveCrossWorkshops.com to the blog and you'll see a tutorial on how to do just that. I'm Dave Cross. Thanks for watching.